Good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, shalom to all our viewers around the world. Shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. Bonjour, bien-aimés. Bonjour, vous qui nous regardez au travers du monde. Je suis le révérend Daniel Monté. I'm Reverend Daniel. Hallelujah. Coming to your home from Coventry, United Kingdom. <laughs> Fountain of Agape Mission Center. Based in Coventry, beloved Coventry City Center. Hallelujah. If you want to find us, you can find us in the city center, CV11LF. CV11LF. Thank you, Lord. Good morning. Once again, good morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning with us. Today is Friday. Friday the 24th of July 2020. Oh, yes. Sing with me. My anchor hold within the veil. Christ alone, Christ alone. Our anchor is whole within the veil. Christ alone. Christ alone. On the stone. We will be made strong in the Savior's love. Through the stone. He is Lord. Lord of oh Lord, we are interceding for those that are preparing themselves, those that are still preparing themselves. We are interceding for the Holy Spirit to quicken their spirit, quicken their spirit in the name of Jesus. Uh, those that are still sleeping, those that are still dreaming. Oh, the Bible say, awake, awake, you sleeper. Get up, hallelujah, Christ alone. On the stone. The weak will be made strong. That's why I love this music. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, let the poor say, I am rich. And let the weak say, I am strong. Shalom. On the stone. The weak will be made strong. In the Savior's love, through the storm, he is Lord, Lord of love. Thank you, Lord. Enjoy it with me, beloved. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. Holy Spirit, quicken this. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Reveal, reveal in a dream, in a dream, someone that is dreaming right now. That is a time of prayer. Yes, you may be saying it's 5 a.m. It's too early. It's too early. I'm referring you to Mark chapter 1 verse 35. Before though, before though. That means uh, too very early. Another version says very, very, very early in the morning. Jesus was waking up and go to the solitary place. I said we don't know the distance where he was going. Pakasoku. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That means uh, you have to get up. You have to take your shower. You have to brush up. You have to dress up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, there is a lot of things that you have to do to be ready in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Share the video. Share the video, beloved. Share the video. Let me fasten my seatbelt. Let me fasten my seatbelt. You too fast your seatbelt where you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, daughter Christina. You are always faithful in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, despise the children. Oh, some people say, oh, the child has made him not to go to bed early. I know, I know how those children disturb you, but you're still up in the mighty name of Jesus. It's not a man that will reward what we are doing, beloved. 
We are not expecting a reward from a man. We are getting up because we know what we are doing. We know who we are serving. That he has promised us the reward in the mighty name of Jesus. And I will show you today that you must, if you get ready, you will get paid in the name of Jesus. The weak will be made strong in the Savior's love. Oh, the stones. He is love. Lord of love. Thank you, Jesus. May the Holy Spirit minister to you. This is the last day of our prayer through this week. Thank you for those that have been faithful. Hallelujah. You can present your time sheet to the Lord right now, beloved, because you have been faithful. You attend all the meetings in the name of Jesus. He is Lord. Lord of he is Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Hallelujah. Where is Solan? Shakabo Sekerebo. Father, we thank you. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up and stand and stand at the gap for your children, for your family in the name of Jesus. I say when we get up, beloved, it's not just for ourselves. We are interceding for the nation. We are interceding for the leaders of the nation. We are interceding for the leaders of the church. They are going through a tough time, a difficulty at this time of COVID-19. Many churches are Passing through, there is like a wind, a wind that is blowing, blowing people out of the church, blowing people out of the church. That's why we have to stand at the gap. Hallelujah. Those that are not prepared, the wind will blow them out. They will be unprepared and they will be like a five virgin that wasn't wise and the oil run out of their lamp in the mighty name of jesus it's not your portion it's not my portion you that are watching me right now we are standing at the gap we are standing at gap for every leaders every leaders every spiritual leaders every leaders of the nation because my bible says we should pray for the leaders in the name of jesus they have to be prepared in jesus name father we thank you hallelujah we have been talking this week, beloved, since Tuesday, we have been talking about what? About getting ready, getting ready. And yesterday I discovered in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, hallelujah, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, it was verse 9, verse 9, that uh, you can lose your share, you can lose your share in the kingdom. So if you are not prepared, you will lose your share in the kingdom. Read that verse, write it down, and then you will read it. And then it will make you to get ready. It will quick, that verse will quicken your spirit. It said, <laughs> those that do wrong will lose their share in the kingdom. So we got a share in the kingdom, beloved. Jesus has called us. And then in John chapter 14, he says, I'm going to the Father. And I will prepare a place for you. So where I am, you also will be. So, and he said, I'm coming back to get you. If he comes and you are not ready and you are not prepared and your neighbor is prepared, he will take your neighbor and leave you. So that's why we are standing at the gap that you should not be distracted. That we should not be distracted. That nothing should distract us, beloved, in the name of Jesus. Because our verses that we use this week, Proverbs 22 verse 3. Proverbs 22 verse 3. It says, a prudent man, a prudent person, sees, foresees a danger ahead. And do what? And take refuge. And do what? And take precaution. And do what? And go to the safety place. I never see somebody that is running towards the danger. No. It will run out of the danger. So we are praying this morning. That may the Lord open your eyes to see that the time is short. That the coming of the Lord is near. He gave us all the signs of his coming. 
Even though he said he's coming as a thief in the night. Why the thief doesn't enter any house? Because they put the bad lock. They lock the door before they sleep. They don't open the door wide, wide before they get to bed. But they close the door. That is getting ready. That is getting prepared to get to bed, to sleep in a secure home. Together, also in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual realm, we have to be prepared. You have to be study. You have to be prayerful in the name of Jesus. That's why we said we must be baptized with the spirit of prayer. Because prayer is the preparation. Prayer will prepare you. Prayer will prepare your heart. Prayer will open your eyes to the danger that the enemy, to the trap that the enemy is always set for us to fall into. Hallelujah. A prudent man, a prudent woman, a prudent person. That's why the Bible also talks about a, a, a virtual woman. A vir, v, v, eh? virtue. Virtue. Virtue woman. Build her house and not destroy. Somebody that is prepared will prepare his children, will prepare his husband, will prepare his wife, will prepare all this household. Oh, my Katabari. He said, Me and my house, we shall serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. Are you prepared? Are you ready? There is a song we used to sing. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to? When the Lord shall come. When the Lord shall come. Thank you, Mama. Apostle is here to help me. Hallelujah. You see, two is better than one. <laughs> two is better than one, beloved. That's why we want you to be on the other side. Yes, Deaconess. Write something and share the link. I want people to share the link, beloved. Mm -hmm. Share the link. They will watch you. Yes, yes. 16 messages from Okabo Seke. From only one person. Share the link. Dr. Christina, you are, you are, your messages is not coming to my screen. I don't know whether you are connected to Fountain of Agape permission or yeah, you are okay. just connected. Because you are on the line. Her message is not coming. Share. Deaconess, write something in the mighty name of Jesus. We should not be cut off by sleep, beloved. We have to know when to sleep and when to be in the presence of the Lord. When the Lord wants us to be on duty, the Bible says, "Get <laughs> when the duty call, you have to respond. You have to act present in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to take you this morning to 1 Corinthians chapter 7. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 29. 1 Corinthians 7, 29. He said, this is what I meant, brother. The appointed time has grown very near. The appointed time has grown very short. Very short. Because of what? The present, it end up by saying, the present form of the world is passing away. The present form of this world is passing away. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 29. It said that the appointed time, that means the time that Jesus is coming to get you, beloved, is growing near. Growing near. That's why your prayer must be, Lord, help me to be prepared. We say filter our life. Filter our life. Filter the word of our mind. In the name of Jesus. We don't want to be cut off by surprise. We don't want to be cut off by surprise. That verse is very powerful. Mm. It says, from now on, let those who have wife live as they don't have, have known. As they had known. That means what, beloved? That means let your wife not be a, 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 a burden or a building block. Yes, mama. Stumbling block, yes. Two is better than one, I said. 
stone, 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 stumbling, block. stumbling block. Eh? Let your job not be a stumbling block. Yes, many stumbling. <laughs> stumbling block. Yes. Many have given themselves to job. Yes, you need money. Yes, we need money. We need tight. You are working, you are working, but the tight we can't see. <laughs> Hallelujah. But thank you for those that are faithful, those remnant that are faithful. Before the end of the month, they put their tithe aside. I say, it's not, you are not putting for a man, you are obeying God in the name of Jesus. That is a sign of preparation, obedience in the name of Jesus. He said, from now on, let those who have wives, jobs, businesses, children, live as though they had none. Why? Because they don't want, God doesn't want those who want to be a stumbling, stumbling block to serve him. He says, seek his first, the kingdom and his righteousness. Matthew 6, 33. Seek his first, the kingdom. That is the preparation. Remember that verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 29. He said the present world, the present form, the present form, everything that you are in mind today, everything will pass away. They are passing by. So why are you hanging on something that tomorrow will not help you? When you are sick, even that money cannot help you. You can't enjoy it. But in your even in your sick, sick, sick bed, you can enjoy the Lord. Because it's the joy of the Lord that will strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus. Nous disons, bien aimé, dans 1 Corinthiens chapitre 7, verset 29. 1 Corinthiens 7, verset 29. Il dit que le temps, le temps, le temps est très proche. Le temps est très proche. Et que tout ce que nous voyons aujourd'hui passera. Que ceux qui ont des femmes vivent comme s'ils si n'en avaient pas. Pourquoi? Parce que que la femme ne soit pas une pierre d'achoppement. Que ton travail ne soit pas une pierre d'achoppement. Que tes enfants ne soient pas une pierre d'achoppement. Ton mari ne soit pas une pierre d'achoppement. Ton business. Beaucoup de gens ont mis la tête dans d'autres choses qui vont passer et qui ne pourront pas les aider. Yes. Stumbling block. Stumbling block. We have a lot of stumbling block, beloved. <laughs> stumbling block that we are putting on ourselves. Whereby Jesus says, lay down all your burden. Lay down all your worries. He said, give me your worry. Why are you worried that the money is not enough? That the money is not enough? Yes, that is what is distracting us nowadays. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get prepared. Get ready. Pray that prayer. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Nothing will stop us to... Paul said, nothing will separate me from the love of God. Yes, Brother Mark, thank you. You find your phone. Kaboko <laughs> said, the Holy Spirit can talk or direct that apostle where the phone. That's why the Bible said, those that connecting with the Lord, the Lord will speak to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Getting ready, beloved. First Corinthians chapters. In First Corinthians, I discover a lot of things. Chapter six, verse nine, say we you can lose your share. You can lose your share in the kingdom. Please, I'm praying for someone this morning that you have a share in the kingdom. When you have a share in the in 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 the company in the society, you 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 you, you drive a a, a a a nice car. You you are a shareholder. You are a shareholder. We are doing a business that we, we want to be a shareholder. You don't want to be just a worker, a worker saying yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, all the time. 
Be a boss on your own. Jesus wants you to be a boss in the kingdom. Be a leader in the kingdom. Don't allow somebody to put you down. Don't allow yourself to put you, yourself down mm. with what you are doing. Mm. Hallelujah. You have been caught up with sleep. Too much sleep, you bring poverty. The Bible says so. You bring poverty. He said, awake, awake, you sleepers. It's not me that call you sleepers. The Bible says so. And you give yourself to sleep too much, enough. Yes, we have to sleep to get rest. Hallelujah. But notice that all will pass away in the mighty name of Jesus. So this morning we are praying for every stumbling block that is holding us not to move forward, not to go for evangelism. That, 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 that shameful, shameful face. That you are you, you, you are ashamed to stand up to stand up. You are ashamed to go out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 22. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Because you are saying something that the enemy is capturing it. But when you are praying in tongues, the enemy will not know what you are saying. You are say you are you go into the realm of the spirit. And take your position. Go into the realm of spirit. Take your position in the realm of spirit, beloved. Don't wait for a man. Don't wait for a man to give you position. They said a builder. A builder is recognized under a, 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 a construction. Under, when you are not constructing anything, nobody has said that they, they improve. They improve what you have started. If you are doing nothing, what can you improve? You are not improving anything in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hosanna, Hosanna. We thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. I'm praying for someone this morning. Get ready, get ready. Make sure there is an oil in your lamp. Make sure there is an oil in your lamp. How can I put an oil in my lamp, beloved? How can I put an oil in my lamp, Pastor? You are asking me. Give yourself to, to, to prayer. Give yourself to prayer. Give yourself to prayer. You will be stopping up. You will be stopping up your oil. Give yourself to meditation, to meditation, to meditation. And don't forsake the assembly of the saints. And don't forsake the assembly of the saints. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said to you, two is better than one. Tw Revelation 22 verse 20. It said, because he who testifies to these things, say surely I am coming soon. Hallelujah. That's why you don't need a stumbling block. You don't need a stumbling block. You don't need anything to distract you. It said, he who testify, he who, who testify to these things says, surely I am coming soon. Who says so in Revelation? John. John. John notify this. He notified it and say amen. You have to say amen unto this, beloved. You have, you have to say amen unto this. Because after John has said amen, he said, come, Lord Jesus. He said, come. Come. I'm ready. Come. He said, he who testify. He who testify. To these things says, Surely I'm coming soon. And John said, John said, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. It's the word of somebody that is ready, beloved. It's a word. If you are not ready, you will always say, When I say, when I say to a I say to one family, I want to visit you. He said, No, come after 30 minutes. Let us put our house in order. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. If you know that your house is not in order, you can have a time. We saw yesterday King Ezekiah. King Ezekiah. I, uh, Isaiah went and told him, the Lord said, put your house in order because you're going to die shortly. Hallelujah. In the book of First King. Put your house in order because the Lord is coming soon. The Lord is coming soon. Repent. Repent. Look at where you have fallen. And repent. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, help us. Help us to put our house in order. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. James chapter 5, verse 8. James 5, 8. James 5, 8. Hallelujah. Nous avons lu uh, Apocalypse chapter 22, verset 20. Où 
celui qui a témoigné ces choses dit « J'arrive bientôt, j'arrive bientôt. » Et John et Jean, l'apôtre Jean a dit « Amen, Seigneur, viens. » Tu comprends ça Est-ce que tu peux dire « Amen, Seigneur, viens » Parce que tu n'es pas encore prêt. Va dans Jacques, Jacques chapitre 5, verset 8. James chapter 5, verset 8. Il sait « Establish your heart for the coming of the Lord. »« Establish your heart for the coming. » Oh, there is everything in the Bible to help us to get prepared. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Your heart is far away. Your heart is full of hatred. Your heart is full of... I don't know what is in your heart, beloved. James chapter 5, verset 8. Est- Establish your heart for the coming. For the coming of the Lord is at hand. For the coming of the Lord, help me to establish my heart. Help search my heart. Who says so? Is it David? David said, Lord, search my heart. Search my heart. Search my heart. Search my heart. Oh, all those that are watching me this morning, all those that are up this morning, may the Lord search our heart. What is the motive of our heart? What is the motive of our heart? What is it pushing you away? What is it pushing you away from the church? What is it pushing you away from your brother? Yesterday we prayed about love and unity. Love and unity, beloved. Love and unity. Freedom. Freedom. Freedom to serve God. Freedom to sing, freedom to pray, freedom to read, freedom to come to the gathering of the saints. Hallelujah. Le rendez-vous des saints. Il ne faut pas manquer au rendez-vous des saints. Don't miss the appointment with the saints, beloved. Abraham did not miss. Lot, the nephew, did not miss. Kaboko Sakare. Gideon did not miss. Joshua did not miss. Caleb did not miss. Moses did not miss. Why us? The Lord is the same. Yesterday, today, and forevermore. Revelation 22, verse 12. 22, verse 12. He said, get ready to receive your recompense. <laughs> get ready to receive your recompense, your reward. He said, he will, he, he, he will reward Eh? He said what? He is coming to pay everyone for what he has done. What have you done? Read. Read to yourself. Revelation 22, 12. Apocalypse chapter 22, verset 12. Il dit qu'il vient. Il vient avec les, 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 les récompenses en main. Il vient avec les récompenses en main pour donner selon ton travail, selon ce que tu as fait. Ma question pour toi, c'est qu'est-ce que tu fais dans la maison de Dieu? Qu'est-ce que tu fais dans la maison de Dieu? Qu'est-ce que tu fais dans le royaume? Dans le royaume? What are you doing in the kingdom of God? What are you doing in your local church? Are you just a church goer? Read that verse. Revelation chapter 22 verse 12. He said he's coming with the, 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 the reward in hand. The reward in hand. To give to those. Everyone. He said everyone. No discrimination. No discrimination. He said everyone for what he has done. Prayer you are not there. Church meeting, you are not there. Evangelism, you are not there. Sweeping the church, you are not there. They say be in the, the church choir, you are not there. Where are you? So Jesus will not find you anywhere. Hallelujah. But let me pray, let me help you pray, to pray. With Proverbs chapter 13 verse 11. Uh, Romans, Romans, Romans 13, 11. I hope you are writing it down. You are not sleeping. Father, we thank you. Let our eyes be open. Maria, thank you, Maria. Thank you, thank you. You are writing, you are writing. Clap, 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 clap for Jesus. Put clap in there. Clapping is not coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Romans 13, 11. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. 
He said, beside this, you know the time. Besides this, you know the time. That the hour has come for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believe. Salvation is nearer now. Hallelujah. Mm. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Help us to know the time. Help us to get prepared. Help us to get ready. Help us to search our heart. To search our heart. Mm. To search our heart. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one verse that you will use to pray, beloved. It's, the, it's it found in 1 John chapter 2, verse 18. 1 John chapter 2, verse 18. It said, children, it is the last hour. It is the last hour. And as you have heard that Antichrist is coming. So now, many Antichrists have come. Therefore, we know that it is the last hour. If you are not prepared, Antichrist will cut you. And they say many are Antichrist. <laughs> they will bring some gospel, strange gospel, strange message to you. And Brother Mark, Brother Mark was rightly praying yesterday. I heard him pray for, 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 for heresy that is out there, that is cutting people, that most people are there unknowingly. They are seeking God. So we are praying that the eyes of their understanding will be open, that they will be transferred from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of our dear son, in the kingdom of light, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you ready? Let me sing that song again. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready when... Say it, mama. When, the Lord, shall when the Lord shall come, are you... Are you ready? Are you ready? You are you ready when the Lord shall come? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Are you ready? Oh, I hope this week, I hope this week we we have heard a lot. We have heard a lot about getting ready, about getting prepared, about getting prepared. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When you are prepared for a long journey, you, you are driving your car, singing a song, singing a hymn, singing a praises in the mighty name of Jesus. Apostle is preparing herself to come and take us to the next level, beloved. Get prepared, get prepared. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. We are ready, we are ready. You are ready, I am ready. You are ready, I am ready. We will continue to get getting ready to... Washing up, washing up, washing up. You wash yourself, yes. You bathe yesterday. Today you bathe. Tomorrow you will bathe. Why? Because you don't want anything. You don't want stain to stay on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. God bless you, Apostle. It's Fountain of Agape Mission Center. Found us in the city center. On Sunday, it's going to be awesome, beloved. Come and meet us on Sunday. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank God for this wonderful time of prayer. Amen. We really thank God and we praise the name of the Lord for this wonderful, wonderful time of prayer. Amen. We are so privileged <laughs> to be in the presence of God, isn't it? We are so privileged. <laughs> we are privileged to be in the presence of God every morning. Because many are dying. If God open your eyes to see those that are perishing, those that are perishing and those that are sleeping, in, in, you'll be so, you'll be, you start crying, you start crying. Those that are perishing means people that are dying without knowing Christ. And those that are sleeping means people that, are, that have gone to meet Christ. So there are two kinds of death, perishing and sleeping. Because the Bible says those that are in Christ, they are sleeping. Hallelujah. So when you get ready in Christ, if you are no more on earth, you will just be sleeping. It's just a transition. So you'll be going to meet your father. That's why we have to be, we have to get ready because we don't know the day. We don't know the hour. We don't know the time. We don't even know when Christ is going to come. Hallelujah. That's why, that is the reason that, hallelujah, 
people were being motivated, the apostle, hallelujah, glory be to God, the man of God have said it all, hallelujah, I just want to thank you that are connected this morning, hallelujah, when the prayer is so excited, I just start talking, hallelujah, I just want to thank you, I thank all of you, all of us that are connected, plus me, I thank myself, hallelujah, and I also thank you, I appreciate you for this time that you've given us to come to your room, hallelujah, you've opened your door widely that we should connect together, amen, we should connect together, the wifi, the, the broadband of Jesus Christ, the wife of Jesus is to connect us in prayer, it never, it's never slow, we thank God, hallelujah, glory be to God, clap for yourself, you that are up, and you continue to be up, he said, he that stand, continue to stand, amen, he that is standing must continue to stand, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are going to pray for some certain prayer topic. We have heard the verse that the man of God has said that prudent man see danger. When we are prudent, we see danger. We don't move like people that are blind. We don't move like people that doesn't know what they are doing, where they are going. You see, when people, when most of the people that are blind, they move carelessly. They wake up in the morning. They don't even know whether to greet their wife or to greet their husband or to greet their children or to ask. They don't know why they are living. So we are going to pray this prayer this morning. Say, Lord, first of all, we have to be grateful for the life that God has given us. You and I to wake up this morning. We have to be grateful and say, Lord, I'm so grateful that I'm up this morning. I'm so grateful for the life that you've given me. I'm so grateful for the time that you've given me. I'm so grateful, hallelujah, to be called your daughter, to be called your son, to be called your servant, to be called your men's servant. I'm so grateful, Lord, that this time, hallelujah, I am among the intercessors. I'm among the prayer warriors. I'm among those that are evangelizing among them, oh Lord, this morning, hallelujah, I have applied, you know, the work of God, you don't need an application, the, in the house of God, in the, in the kingdom of God, the, there are a lot of vacancy, you just, just, Save. Hallelujah. I'm praying that from today. Speak that prayer. It's a prayer I'm saying. As from today, I will recruit myself in, in your kingdom. Hallelujah. Glory, glory be to God. Pray that prayer. Hallelujah. Pray that prayer. Thank God and confess. Hallelujah. With, with power. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 41 verse 10. He said, I will straighten you. I will be with you. You be my daughter and I'm going to be your God. I pray with confidence. Our Lord, I have recruited myself in your kingdom. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ said that many are called, but few are chosen. The few that are chosen is the few that have already got the mindset of the kingdom. Hallelujah. I, just, I don't just want to be called, but I, I want to be a chosen one. Hallelujah. I want to be a chosen one. Pray that prayer, Lord. Pray that prayer this morning. That, Lord, I want to be that chosen one. Because he said many are called, but few you are choosing. It means God is looking for those, hallelujah, that have the heart to serve him. Those are the ones that are choosing, the obedient one, the humble one, the one that, hallelujah, I want to be among, pray that prayer, that Lord, I want to be among the chosen one. It's a privilege. Let me tell you, it's a privilege for us to be up. It's a privilege for us to be the chosen one, to serve God. It's a privilege, hallelujah. Money can buy that position. Hey, man, money cannot buy it. Money cannot buy it. Gold or silver cannot buy it. It's only God alone that have choosing you. He has called you the night, give you the choice to, to see if really I, you, you can be qualified. Pray that prayer this morning. Say, Lord, hallelujah. I ask you for the immense privilege for trusting. Say, Lord, I want to, can God trust on you? If you God can trust on you, pray with me this morning. That, Lord, I need your immense privilege to trust. You can trust on me. You can trust on me, Lord. I'm available at any time. Pray that prayer. I'm ready at any time in the name of Jesus. I'm ready to do what you ask me to do. I'm ready. My, my The man of God said yesterday that it is a choice to serve God. It's a choice to come to the house of God or it's a choice not to come in the house of God. It's a choice. I was so blessed. He said it's a choice. It is a choice to say no, not to do what God has asked. It's a choice because say, many are called but few are choosing. Listen, and the Bible says those that are willing and 
and obedient will eat the fruit of the land. My God, I pray, I have to pray for someone this morning. Hallelujah. That the Lord will empower you with the spirit of obedience. Will empower you with the spirit of readiness. That you're going to be ready. And we are going to be ready waiting for the master, the coming of God. That's why readiness. He wants us to be very busy. Hallelujah. Busy in the house of God because he said the time is short. Hallelujah. Father, say don't bypass me. Lord, don't bypass me this morning. Put your hands up. Say, Lord, do not bypass me. Because the blessing we are looking for is not what God wants to bless us. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just receiving that from the Holy Spirit. What you are looking for, God knows the best. He said he will give you the desire of your heart according to his will. If that blessing is according to the will of God, it's going to bless you mightily. Lord, do not bypass me. When God is lavishing, hallelujah, is releasing the blessing this morning for those that are ready, hallelujah, glory be to God. God is releasing. I'm saying God is releasing. Yes, amen, sister. Sister Maria, amen. God is releasing his blessing this morning. Say, Lord, do not bypass me. Father, do not bypass me. Father, do not bypass me. Let your blessing, hallelujah, hallelujah, come in my house. My house is widely open to receive you, Lord. My my house is widely open. Your house is your heart. Your heart, you say your heart. I do not dwell in the hand, in the house that men have built with their hand, but I dwell in this temple. The temple is your body. The temple of God. I do not bypass me, Lord. Bless me this morning. Pray that prayer. That Lord bless me this morning, for I'm ready to receive. I'm ready, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you because you have restored me. Thank you because, oh Lord, you have chosen me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, because I'm part of your kingdom. Hallelujah. Say, as long as Zion travel, they will bring forth children. We are praying that God will bring forth children in the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pray that prayer, beloved. Pray that prayer. Hallelujah. Pray as you mean it. Pray as you mean it. Say, Lord, do not bypass me this morning. No, do not bypass pass me this morning. My heart is open. Lord, oh my God, not my will, but their will. Not my will, but their will. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The will of God must be done in your life, in my life. Not my will, but your will, oh Lord. Not my will, but your will. Give me understanding. Give me understanding. Open my eyes. Open my, my eyes. Open my spiritual ears. Hallelujah. To hear your voice. Because many voices are speaking. I'm confused, Lord. I don't know which way to take. But Lord, open my Yes, to show me the way. Show me the way this morning. Show me the way this morning. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer, beloved. Pray that prayer this morning. Hallelujah. Pray it. Pray it. I'm confused. I'm hearing a lot of voice. But the Bible says you hear my voice and you, I will show you the way you should go. That's why, Lord, show me the way I should go this morning. Show me the way I should go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I can, God, you can trust on me. You can trust on me. Pray that prayer. You can trust. You can trust on me, Lord, to do your work in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Thank God. Thank God for this morning. Hallelujah. I want you to pray another prayer this morning. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, baptize me with an un unquenchable fire. Baptize me with an unquenchable, unquenchable fire. Unquenchable fire. Fire that will never be quenched. Hallelujah. Fire that will keep on increasing. It will not go low. You know, when you are fire keep on increasing. Ha, yeah, 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 yeah. The Bible says in the book of Acts of Apostle that the apostle, when persecution arises, they began to pray, Lord, give us courage. We need courage. We need courage. We need courage. We need the power that we can speak this word with courage that we're not going to be afraid. They did not say, take away persecution. No. God... No, persecution will never leave. Persecution. Uh, people will keep on persecuting us. People will keep on doing what they are doing, hating us. You, you just have to be prepared, hallelujah, to receive it. And it's the way you receive it and act that will show that you are prepared. That's why the apostles, they were prepared. The disciples of Jesus Christ, they were not scared of persecution. They were, not, they were not scared even for people that were leaving the church. They were not scared of that. They were not intimidated by when 
when people leave or when people come, they were nothing worse. They were focused. Hallelujah. That why God why make them to be focused because they were ready and they were baptized with the unquenchable fire of the Holy Spirit. So this morning, pray that prayer that Lord baptize me with the un unquenchable fire. Baptize me this morning, Lord. I need the baptism of unquenchable fire. Listen, the Bible says Jesus Christ said, Paul said, uh, uh, John the Baptist said, I am just baptizing you with water, but the person that is coming after me will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the baptism of fire. So you got three baptisms. Baptism with water, baptism with the Holy Spirit, baptism with fire. The fire is a final. It means that you are going to uh, uh, contaminate anyone that will come across you, will catch the fire of the Holy Ghost and will move forward. My God, I have come to pray for someone this morning. May the Lord baptize you with an unquenchable fire that when you pass, people will be seen by fire. You won't want to come out from your mouth, it will just be fire. It will scatter the kingdom of darkness when they gather, but the fire will come down. Listen, I gave you a testimony. One time my parents, they took my name to the native doctor to wish me or that for their self, they want to protect me. But as they call my name, the fire came and the native doctor said, please don't call the name of this, your daughter anymore in this place. I want to pray for you as they are calling your name in the shrine of the enemy, in the witches and wizards. Fire will come down and we scatter them in the name of Jesus Christ. The fire of God. Listen, Kahakaraba, Prophet Isaiah, Makaseke say yes, the fire of God. The fire. You've not yet experienced the fire. The little one I've experienced. My God is so powerful. That's why I'm clinging. I'm trusting. I'm always going. Hallelujah. We say no Lord. No one will take us. No attitude will take me from the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. Do not allow anyone. Do not allow anybody. Do not allow anything to remove you from the presence of God. All the time put the fire. Put the oil put the wood so that your fire will keep on increasing so this morning in the name of jesus your fire will not diminish your fire will increase you say my fire will not diminish my fire will increase my fire in you increase keep on increasing in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm praying for someone this morning wherever they are taking because you are ready you are in the right position. Listen, Joshua said, me and my house will serve the Lord. Why? Because God gave him a victory. Because of the power of God in him. He can stop the moon. He can stop the sun until he battle, until he has got the enemy all. So this morning, you have the power to stop because you are ready. You've got up and you are ready. So you got the power to stop every diversity, everything that the enemy has planned, have projected this morning to increase your life. You got the power to stop it. So this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, God has given you power and authority. When you wake up in the morning, you have the power to neutralize, to make every demonic power silence. And wherever they are gathering this morning against you, against your children, against your family, you got the power to release the world. That Lord, wherever they are gathered, the Bible says they will surely gather. Not that they won't gather. That is their work. That is the work of the enemy. It will surely gather, but it will not come by you. But say any weapon that fashion against you, my God shall not prosper. But you have the word to demolish it. This morning, the name of Jesus began to destroy every power of darkness. Hallelujah. Every incantation, divination, necromancy that the enemy has projected in the atmosphere to stop you not to guard your blessing. So because you are ready, hallelujah, began to release it this morning. Began to release it in the name of Jesus that I release and I release the word of God. Say, Father, oh Lord, make my word be like a thunder this morning. Let the word that come out from my mouth be like a light in the morning to scatter any, any power of darkness everywhere that they are guarding against my life, against my family, against my ministry. Scatter them. Scatter them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Listen, it's not men that are guarding, but men are using. The devil is using men that have given their life that I've said, yes, I want to serve the devil. So he's using it, but it's not the will of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, Sister Maria. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of. That's why it's good to wake up early in the morning to connect. 
is good to wake up to connect with us. It's good to wake up to connect because two are better than one. Listen, the Bible says two cannot work together. God cannot work with another person if they don't agree. We can't work with someone when we do not agree. That's why when our brother Mark, he said we are going out to evangel because we agree. It's a bad bit of we go out and we are crazy singing gospel to bring people to Christ for them to be ready because the trumpet is sounding, beloved. So this morning I want you to pray that any projection, hallelujah, any astral projection in from the kingdom of darkness to hold people. Now I want you to pray to hold people, not to know God, to tie people in the kingdom of darkness, lose them this morning. It may be your son, it may be your daughter, it may be your family, it may be anyone, hallelujah, whosoever, but we are praying generally for this world, hallelujah, for, for, for we are praying for, for limited, we are praying for worry, that we are praying, hallelujah, for waste million, where God has positioned us, he says, start from Jerusalem, my God, before you go to Samaria, so we are praying in our Jerusalem, that those that the enemy has put in their cage, this morning we lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus Christ, began to lose them, Begin to lose them. Let them get ready, waiting for the coming of Jesus. Get it, get ready in the name of Jesus. We pray that they will get ready. We pray that Jesus is coming to take this church. He's coming to take everyone. It's not the will of God that anyone should perish. The perfect will of God is that everyone should come to knowledge to know God. But God is watching you and I. What are we going to do to bring these people? It's not God that will come down to bring them. He has empowered you. He has empowered me to go out there. Hallelujah. To lose them. Listen, the Bible says, Jesus Christ said, the Spirit of God is upon me. He has anointed me to set the captive free. Beloved, you have been anointed not to sit in your room, not to cover yourself with a duvet. I'm speaking in somebody's life this morning. Wherever you are, you have been anointed. Hallelujah. To bring somebody to know Jesus. To make the light of God to shine. I'm praying for you this morning. May the unquenchable fire, my God, come upon you. May the unquenchable fire come upon your life. May everything that you are doing, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God, hallelujah, prosper, because you are ready. You are ready. We are ready. Thank you, Jesus. Whether Jesus come now or he come tomorrow, he come after, be ready. That's why they say Maranatha is coming very soon. There is, no, there is no good news that you want to hear than to be ready. Hallelujah, because heaven and earth will pass away. Yesterday I was just looking, I was just thinking. I said, God is a privilege to serve you, Lord. When you look at all these things, you see that it's just a waste of time. You look at the people dying, living houses, living money, living all these things. You just look, they were just, it's just, hallelujah, nobody's going with anything. But what you are going to take with you is the soul that you have brought to Christ. Is the people that you have transformed. Is the people that God has used you to transform. Whether they believe it or they don't believe it but you just do your work hallelujah let us be in the position hallelujah that god can use you god can trust in me god can trust on yours to bring people hallelujah we are the verse he said lucy he said in the great house there are many verses in the great house this is another way hallelujah what what verses do you present yourself so this morning get ready that vessel of gold, hallelujah, that vessel of honor, 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 my God, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Father, say, pray this prayer. Father, help me to think the way you think. Help me to move where you want me to move. Hallelujah. Help me to think the way you think. Help me to move where you want me to move. Help me to go where you want me to go. You know, man, sometimes we are so choked up with a lot of things in our head that we cannot even hear the voice of God. Even to think for something good to ourselves. Even to think for somebody that has been good for us. We are just distracted a lot of things. That's why we say Holy Ghost, help me to think the way you think. Because Holy Ghost think in the, in the, uh, according to it. Jesus said, I do not speak except my father asked me to speak. I cannot go where my father did not ask me to go. Hallelujah. He said, me and my father, we are one. John 10, 30. Me and my father, we are one. So you can you say in the Lord, I want to be one with you in the name of Jesus. That's why God, Jesus loves agreement. He said, wait to a free and gather in my name. That is a prayer of agreement that we are doing this morning. Hallelujah. And we have this every power of darkness. 
darkness, every stronghold, every satanic garden in our city, around your area, around your community. As you are praying, you are scattering them because fire, hallelujah, is coming down. You don't know the power that you've got. Let me tell you, beloved, the power you've got, no person has got that power. You just need to have confidence. You just need to have faith. Hallelujah. You just need to motivate your faith, knowing that you are the daughter or the son of the most high. He has empowered us with his power. He's a God created man in his image. So the, if you are creating the image of God and he did not leave us like that. He said bread uh, the bread, the uh, bread, the bread hallelujah upon the nose of the man and the man become a spirit. He become a living spirit. Let me tell you that bread that blood breath into our nose. It was the power that he was putting in us so that we should not remain just empty this soil, which will remain, hallelujah, useful to him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. <coughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God can count on you to be a prayer warrior. God can count on us to be people that stand at the gap. He said, I'm looking for somebody. Isaiah said in Isaiah 62, he said, I will not be silenced. I will not keep quiet. I will never keep quiet until I see righteousness shine in Coventry. I will never keep quiet. I will never be silent. Listen, the Bible says, as Isaiah was saying, God said, don't worry, Isaiah, I have posted watchmen in the wall of Coventry that they will never be silence no quiet you have been posted in candy you have been posted in in in, in warwick you have been posted mm -hmm. hallelujah in limited you've been posted in city center that's what god has done he said i have posted go to isaiah 62 verse 6 i have posted watchmen that will never be silenced it will never keep quiet no silence they will pray until righteousness shine you know prayer is what releases god to act because we connect with him in prayer and then it will be released according to our heart according to the motive of our heart according to the the pureness of our heart god now will release his answer in due time so this morning i'm praying for you that as you have joined us in prayer this morning you are going to re 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 receive a reward from god not from man hallelujah glory be to god we are praying also that city center is being taken hallelujah our dear brother mark God has put in his mind with his ministry of gospel to go out to sing with his voice to bring people to know Christ. And God is watching. God is saying, so no person will have an excuse. That day that I didn't hear, the Lord will just show him the CCTV of heaven. Did you see my son? Did you go there? Ha, yeah, 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 God. I love when we are obedient to God. We allow God to walk the way he wants to walk. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you this morning. That may the power of God come upon you. May you not be reluctant. May you not be lazy. May you not be powerless. We will pray this morning that God will empower you with the anointing of prayer. He will empower you with the anointing, hallelujah, to move forward. He will empower you with the anointing to understand his word. To dream. You, you, you will be that fire. He will empower you wherever you go. You will be distinguished. They will know that you carry a different power wherever you go. In the kingdom of darkness, the devil will know you because you carry his power, my God, in your spirit, in your soul. You will not just be empty Christian, but you'll be the Christian that carries power of God. In the name of say, Lord, I carry your power. I'm the God, hallelujah. I am the carrier of God power. You are carrying the power of God. He said, I've given you power and authority. He has dedicated all with his power. In the name of Jesus Christ. And when you pray with all your heart, hallelujah, like and you pray with all your heart. Hallelujah. You pray like Jacob, like Moses. You pray with all your heart something will happen in the realm of the spirit and you began to see it physically. So this morning, in the name of Jesus, may all your obedience be rewarded to you as you wait, as you go through all your weekend, you began to see miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody will come and bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Father, I pray for those that have been connected with us. May you, oh Lord, Father, cover them with your precious blood. 
may we be covered with your precious blood. Their children in their workplace, wherever they are going, Father, cover them with their precious blood. And Lord, we pray that you lead us, you put us on the way of someone that is going to be a blessing. And you bring somebody on our way today so that we can be an, a, hallelujah, a vessel of encouragement to that person. In the name of Jesus, thank you, King of Glory. We also pray for those that are listening to us from afar, abroad and afar, that they are going to be baptized with the unquenchable fire that will never cease. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the missionary. We pray for the evangelist. We pray for the government. We pray for all our surrounding. We pray that the light of God will shine around our community, that many people will come out from darkness, that your light will shine and will begin to see the glory of God and will begin looking for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, King of Glory. Thank you. Began to thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God this morning. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for the, the millions of blessings that is, he has released from heaven. Just receive it. I can receive it. Receive it. He has released it. You don't know how the blessing is coming, really. You don't even understand how God is working. You can't even understand it. But he's working, beloved. God is working in the sick. He's working in the name of you. Do not count of your fault or your knowledge of this. Hallelujah. Count on the power of God. He is working in the secret and this morning i pray that you will never be the same anymore i will not leave this place without giving hallelujah giving an opportunity to someone to receive jesus christ as his personal lord and savior we are in front of we are front of a gap mission in city center number 18 head first street hallelujah we worship 10 a.m to 11 45 our time have changed we used to be 12 or 12 uh, somebody told us the other day that he has been looking 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 but he could not see the place hallelujah but we are there you can take you can go to our website you take a phone number and you can call us and someone will receive you hallelujah call Come and this week, this week, this week, this week, this Sunday, uh, invite somebody. It's our healing and deliverance service. Hallelujah. Accompanied with a powerful, Amen. powerful ministry of music by our dear brother Mark. Hallelujah. It's going to be there had to, uh, to from, 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 yeah, 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 from Limington. He's the leader of our praise and worship and God has blessed him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Give your life to Christ and follow us in the name of Jesus. Follow us in YouTube. Follow us in Twitter. Follow us in anywhere and you are going to be blessed. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Glory be to God. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. God loves you and we love you too. Because you are seeing.